G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Flashlight Crazy. Today I'm reviewing the all new Next Torch TA31. This is a tactical flashlight that is not very pocket friendly, but this boasts a whopping 10,000 lumens. Uh, oh God, it is so hot there. This thing is a beast. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, so here it is. And before we check out this light in all its glory, let's just have a look at the box. Pause at any time if you want to check out those specs. Otherwise, I'll just show you briefly and then continue. All right, so what's in the box? Not a whole lot. We have a, and that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. We have a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. This cable is going to charge. Hmm, where is it going to charge? Well, unscrew the head, expose the charging port. There it is. So, right off the bat, I'm going to just say this has a built in charger, uh, a built in battery. Could be a deal breaker for some people, Next Torch. Uh, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. To me, I don't mind it too much, but could be a bad thing for some people. There is a Next Torch. Uh, lanyard here. It is, as you would imagine it to be, quite basic, but the fact that it's got Next Torch written all over it is pretty bloody cool. I think that's pretty cool. It does have a stopper, but the stopper will actually come off the end of it, so just be careful not to do that. And the Next Torch TA31 user manual. So this will have English and uh, some form of Chinese, I believe. And it just gives you all the spec specifications, how to use it, really clear instructions. And oh, oh, and warranty, maintenance, and all the rest of it. We will go over most of that. All right, so let's zoom in and take a look at this thing. The TA31. Wow, it's a big light. Look at that. It's big. In fact, I'll just zoom out so you can see. It's big. It's no joke whatsoever. That's a, that is a handful of a light, guys. Uh, okay, so starting at the face there, look at that. We've got our standard, typical, signature glass breaking beads on uh, pretty much every Next Torch, I think. Uh, we do have a steel bezel as well. Very, very strong. I don't know exactly what LEDs they are down there. I assume they might be some form of Cree, uh, but you got four of them down smooth reflectors, so this thing's going to pump out light. Right here, right there, you've got your... Uh, Proximity sensor. So just to give you an example, uh, that's really bright. And then it's too close, so it steps down. When you move it away, steps back up. Move it close, steps down. So that's what the proximity sensor does. Then you've got the head here, anti-rolling uh, areas, which don't, don't seem to do too much. Uh, they're all right, actually. Uh, this hot surface will get very hot, so it warns you that it will get hot. You've got some... Finger area, like finger holes here, not holes, but like little uh, uh, cut out divots for your fingers for nice grip. Both sides as well. Feels really good. Very, very strong pocket clip, although my God, you'd be hard pressed to pocket this thing. However, that would go on a belt quite nicely. Um, oh, it's not that tough, is it? It'd still go on a belt, but God, the light's very heavy and the pocket clip doesn't feel as strong as I would like it to be. Uh, from a pocket, uh, from a uh, on a light so heavy, it is screwed in, which is nice. So it's not going anywhere. There are the screws there, but you know, still, I'd like a, a more a, a tenser one. Uh, and you've got your rotary up the top here. You've got your uh, tail standing capabilities because of these raised edges, and you've got your button. All right. So, look, first impressions are it feels robust, but it's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. Uh, let's see if it's, if it's too heavy for the scale. So if it's more than 300 grams, which I think it will be, then the scales won't cop it. So let's see. Yeah, scales aren't copping it. So it's more than 300 big ones. Uh, I'll just see if there's anything in the user manual that gives a weight. Oh, here we go. 425 grams with the battery. Well, I don't think you can take the battery out. So... That, uh, unless I'm wrong, yeah, I don't think you can take the battery out, Next Torch, so thanks for that. But anyway, that's that's the weight, 425 grams. 
Now, may as well just do measurements while we're here. So head to tail, we've got roughly 15, 15 and a half centimeters or thereabouts. The width of the face is just under five centimeters. The width of the body is four and a half centimeters. And the other width, I guess, is poor, just over two set, two and a half centimeters ish, not including the pocket clip. So as I said, big light, guys, big, big light. Okay, so the most interesting thing about this light is its user interface. You've got this rotary dial here that can change it from lock to duty to tactical. Okay, the coolest thing about that is you can change it with your thumb or with your finger on the other side. You just need to kind of remember where it's at or if you just look at it, okay? So lock is, as you would imagine, meaning lock, and that just gives you your battery level indicator. Steady on is more than 75% and flashing is less than 75%. Duty mode is kind of like a daily mode. You've got momentary, and the momentary will change as well. But it's that's obviously getting in the... the uh, the proximity sensor is obviously getting in the way of that, so if I just move it out of the way, there we go. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the momentary, which also cycles. Now, if I full click in, it stays on. Now let's just get it to, okay, so here we have eco mode, 20 lumens, 170 hours. Half press whilst on, low mode, 320 lumens, 15 hours. Now I'll have to move it away, half press, is 1500 lumens for five hours, and then half press again is high mode, 6000 lumens for three and a half hours. 290 meters of throw, and you will get 21,025 candela on this output. So this is not a bloody bad output, three and a half hours. I don't know if it'll step down or not, but we'll, we'll see if it gets hot, and if it gets really hot, then we can uh, make the assessment that it will step down. But just take a look at the beam profile. Oh, it's obviously the proximity sensor. Yeah. Uh, okay, so just take a look at the beam profile here, guys. It is a flood, 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 flood light, but it does have some hot spots. So it does have a centralized hot spot, but God, it is floody, this thing. Really, really floody. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the higher it gets, it doesn't move too far away like a reflector beam does. So that is pretty indicative of a good flood light, I guess, but we'll have to test that in the night shots. So now that just keeps cycling down because of the proximity sensor. Uh, the head is getting pretty warm. The body's not, but if I'm... Look, Next Torch doesn't say that it steps down on high mode from 6,000 lumens, but I'm going to guess that it may. Uh, but that's just a guess. It, may, it also may not, guys, because it doesn't say that. So do not quote me on that. Now, single click turns it off. Right, so that was in duty mode, even though it didn't say that, interesting. Now if I go to tactical mode. Tactical mode is beast mode, okay? This is the mode that you want it in if you want to flash and dash or flash and smash, basically. So I'm talking momentary 10,000 lumens. Look at that, 10,000 lumens in a momentary, which is just your half press. As soon as you let go, it turns off. You cannot uh, keep it on. It just momentaries in, half pre in your half press. If you full press, that is strobe, 10,000 lumens, momentary. Now, guys, it's just momentary, but let me tell you, that is blinding. That is friggin' blinding, and that strobe is awful. <laughs> that, is, that sucks to be around. So tactical mode is like, okay, I'm using this light, in duty mode and, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm walking around and I'm, I'm bushwalking or something and I'm enjoying life and everything's great. And then all of a sudden I'm feeling a bit threatened. I'm feeling a little bit like, you know, what's going on? So what do I do? I turn it to tactical mode, which shuts the light off. And now I'm walking in the dark and I know that I've got 10,000 big ones up my sleeve in the form of a momentary constant on or momentary strobe that is going to disorientate a crowd of people, not just one. This will disorientate an entire crowd of people. That is a really cool thing to have up your sleeve. The one thing if I was next torch that I would have done 
is I would have allowed for, whilst it's on duty mode, I would have allowed for you to press and hold and it goes to strobe on duty mode. Reason being is that you want your, you don't want to have to always rely on your momentary turbo or strobe from off because that means you're walking in the dark. So if you, if you want to walk around with like that much light, but you want access to an amazing amount of light, you should just be able to go bang, full press, boom, strobe, right? But you don't get that. You do get that in all of Next Torch's other tactical models, but not in this one. So if I was Next Torch, what I would do is, is this is great, but I, I would update the user interface to have uh, the ability to get strobe on duty mode as well. Tactical mode is awesome because this can be used for like a security guard, police officer, some kind of emergency service worker or whatever, when, when it's like, okay, I don't need this light unless it is too blind. So this isn't going to be an EDC light where I'm like, hmm, what's in the map today? Whoa, 10,000 lumen and I'm blind. That's not what you want this for. So tactical mode is for, I'm only putting my hands on this light when I want 10,000 lumens to blind someone and then either run or go to work on them, okay? That's what tactical mode is for, in my opinion. It would work great for emergency service workers, anyone that's in a you know high-risk job that needs a lot of light to suppress someone's vision for a, you know, a, a, a few seconds. Now, apart from that, it is a big light. It's not an EDC light as such, but it would fit on a belt, in a bag, on a bag, something like that. So look, let's go out to the night shot, see how this thing does at night, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts and uh, prices. See you in a sec. All right, I'm not wasting any time here. Bang. That is the max output of this bad boy. It's only momentary. As soon as I let go, it turns off. But wow. Talk about let there be light. Incredible. It's a dirty, dirty night. Look at that. And then fully press in strobe. Now, turn it to duty. Got some kids over there, some hooligans. Not really, probably just kids having fun on a Saturday night. Amazing. So much light. And then, look at that. That's insane. What a fantastic light. And it does step down. I mean, it gets hot, so of course it steps down. But so easy to change from duty to tactical as well. Beautiful light. Big, heavy, powerful, just full on. All right, let's go turbo one more time. Strobe, turbo. All right, see ya. All right, so I'm gonna link this in the description and I will put the price next to the description as well. Uh, thoughts. Okay, well, look, the, the night shots are impressive. The momentary 10,000 lumens impressive, but even the 6,000 lumens is impressive. Uh, on the on the duty mode, which is not momentary, you can actually leave that on. But the size and weight really restrict this light for only certain purposes. Okay, look, it's a big light; it's really big. And if you know, if you drop this on your toe, you just about lose your toe. This thing is so big. But look, I love the the glass breaking beads. I love the quad emitters. I love the rotary switch. I do. I think that that's really cool. Um, oh, each time you do that, it shows you your uh, battery level indicator with you, when you go over to lock. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I wouldn't carry this. And even if I was in security, I wouldn't carry this uh, because whilst 10,000 lumens momentary and 10,000 lumens strobe is very impressive and amazing, it just wouldn't be worth me clipping this enormous thing onto my belt or whatever. So the, uh, the situation that requires something like this I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. And you know, I'm trying to be honest. I don't know what it is. It's a great light, very powerful, very cool, and all that sort of stuff. When would I use it? Probably never. 
I, I would much rather the next torch TA30C. I mean, what? That's got like 1600 lumens or something like that. Mate, that's enough to blind someone. 10,000 lumens, yeah, it's friggin' blinding. It could blind a fleet of people for sure. But at the price of, or at the cost of your, of weight and size, nah, I'm not doing it. So look, fantastic light. Don't get me wrong. It performs exactly how it should. It's next torch, so it's made very, very well. Glass breaking beads, all the good stuff, right? But its size and weight would have it sit on my shelf forever. I would never, ever use it. I just wouldn't. Uh, would I use it as a bedside self-defense light? Maybe, actually. That could be good. That could be good. The wheels are turning right now. That could be good. That means it sits on your friggin' bedside table and you hear a noise downstairs, whether it's grandma or a robber, you're gonna grab that and blind them. And then, sorry, Grams, I thought you were robbing me, you know? And she's blind forever now. But apart from that, I reckon that's all you could really use this light for, to be honest. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, if, if there are security guards and emergency service workers and people out there like that, and, and you'd be happy to carry a 425 gram light that, you know, is quite big and large and, and heavy, mate, go for it and I'll shut up. But from what I can see, this thing is is too heavy and too too large to to carry and to be worth that 10,000 lumens. So it needs to be on a bench, grab it, boom, that's it, in my opinion. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.